This is the HiDoc P1. It's a portable on-the-go AI voice recorder. It can transcribe and summarize using various different AI language models. Really excited to showcase what this can do. Make sure to check the link in the description. This has just gone live. Check out all of the latest pricing information and all of the key specs. They also have a second model called the P1 Mini, which is a USB-C attachment for your phones. So you can also record your phone calls. Lots of things to cover. Everything is chaptered down below in the video. So you can go to any section you'd like. We're gonna start off with the design. So let's get into it. So on the left hand side you have the power button that you can turn on manually but once you connect this with the USB-C cable to your computer or your laptop this will automatically turn on. Then you have the large circular button right there front and center that is the volume control but you can also use that to record voice memos for yourself and you just hold that down. It has two dual studio quality microphones inbuilt into this which is absolutely great. This little red button this actually has dual bi-directional noise cancellation. So not only can you cancel the background noises from your side, but you can also cancel the background noise of the person on the other end of the call. Then you have the record button just there. You have the answer and end call button on the bottom left. You have the mute button. And the button on the right is the Bluetooth headphone button because this uses Blue Catch technology to make this the world's first AI voice recorder that supports recording through your Bluetooth headphones. So I will be setting this up with my AirPods Max and I think that's going to be a great showcase because the chances are most people do take their calls using Bluetooth headphones and now you can record all of your calls if you do have a headset or earbuds connected. And the back of this features a magnetic design so you can easily clip this to the back of your laptop or even to your computer if it does have a metallic build to it. So that is very convenient if you just want to have it attached and not just down to the side of your machine. So now I just briefly want to mention of the three different types of modes that you can utilize with the P1. The first one is whisper mode. So when you do hold down that circle button in the middle, you can just talk to it like a voice memo and set yourself reminders and summarize that as well. It can add checklists for you to keep track of, which I think is great. Second one is room mode. So if you're in a conference room or a meeting room and you have various different people around you, you can just start the recording with the record button on here and it will pick up all of the voices in the room record them onto the device. Once you're finished, you then transfer it to the High Notes app and it will transcribe and summarize everything. And then the last one is call mode. The most common one, which most people would use, you connect it to your machine, your computer or your laptop, and then you can use any type of calling app, Zoom, Teams, Meet, FaceTime even, and then record all your calls and then that will transcribe and summarize everything as well. So those are the three main modes and I'm gonna showcase each of those modes in this video as examples. Now the P1 utilizes something called Blue Catch technology, which allows recording directly through a Bluetooth headphones. So I'm gonna be using my AirPods Pro. To do this, all you need to do is open up the case. And of course, this will work with any of your Bluetooth headphones once you do put it into pairing mode. And then on the High Notes app, you go into the configuration tab, you scan for your earbuds, and then you click connect. This is a very quick and easy way to do that. You'll only have to do this for the first time. The second time you do connect, you simply have to just press the Bluetooth button on the bottom right and that will automatically connect your earbuds to the P1 so that you can start using that very quickly and easily. So I'm going to call up one of my friends and open up the Zoom app. We're going to test out the bi-directional noise cancellation button as well and just to showcase how that works as well because for the majority of users, you may well be using this to record your calls. As you can see, I've now connected my AirPods Pro. I'm wearing them and I'm going to start the recording on the HiDoc P1. Just gonna press the record button. I'll also do the recording on Zoom as well, just to showcase that. And then I'll play back the audio and you'll be able to hear how great the BNC on the P1 actually works. So I'm gonna go ahead and call one of my friends, just have a quick catch up and test this out and hopefully showcase how great this is going to be for all of your meetings, no matter what they're for. Hey bro, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. I uh, just finished work. I'm gonna head down in a bit and get some dinner made. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. I've been uh, working on a YouTube video today. Um, I've got this new device called the HiDoc P1. It's an AI voice recorder. And the really cool thing about it, which I'm gonna test with you today, is the 
bi-directional noise cancellation so if there's a lot of background noise from my side I can cancel that but if there's a lot of background noise from your side I can also cancel that because this little device has a red button on there when I press that it will cancel out the noise cancellation from your side as well so I can hear that you have some type of fan on in the background is that right yeah yeah I've got my air conditioner running I'm in the loft room so oh, okay so it's pretty hot you know, yeah so I have to run the air conditioner and a lot of the time in meetings everyone says they can hear my aircon so it's yeah. a bit annoying okay so that that's what this is going to be really useful for um, so I'm going to go ahead and press the little red button on my HiDoc P1 and that will literally make it go silent so I've just pressed it and now I literally can't hear anything so none of those fan noises AC noises they're completely gone so now if you start speaking um, I should be just isolated to your voice only oh, that's actually quite good because I know I've been on calls where you hear so much background noise on other people's side so to be able to get rid of that and not get distracted that's quite good yeah, no, absolutely. And I think this is really useful as well. If people end up working in coffee shops or where they have a lot of people talking in the background or even just like a mechanical keyboard where it's just loud and they're constantly typing. I hear that in a lot of my meetings. So this is going to be really useful to just drown out all of those unnecessary background noises and just be able to cl get clear audio um, from the actual call itself. But the best thing about this as well is that once the recording is done, it just transcribes and summarizes everything using things like ChatGPT. And for me, it's saved me a lot of time having like the meeting minutes for all of my calls. So having clear audio to be able to do that summarization, I think is quite important. So that's the thing that I'm testing out today. And out of all the tests I've done, it's worked great. It actually sounds pretty good. Um, do you need to send me a link to it later? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll share the link. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you jumping on a call with me quickly. I know you need to jump down and have your dinner. Um, and just for reference, I'm going to turn off the noise cancellation so people could then hear how noisy it actually is in your background. So now it's off and that fan noise, it immediately came through as soon as I press that red button. So I'm just going to remove that again by pressing the button one more time. And that for me was a really great showcase. But yeah, appreciate you taking a few minutes jumping on a call and testing this out with me but we'll uh, catch up again soon no worries all right cool say hi to the family yep you too cheers bro cheers bye. see ya bye okay so you heard how great the audio was especially that bnc mode when i hit that red button it just makes all of the calls so much clearer which actually helps it once it does the transcription and summarization because sometimes you don't want it to struggle with transcribing the audio to text if there's a lot of interference with background noises. So now we'll just finalize the call mode with looking at how the summary is. So I've got it summarized now. You can see it's just there and everything looks great. So it's reviewed everything, it's put it into bullet points and just summarized everything that I spoke to my friend about. You can see the speaker separation here. One thing I like about that is when you do select the speakers, you can easily rename it to however you want. So I'm speaker one. Once I select that for myself, it will do that for all the speaker ones in the list. Hit confirm. And then speaker two, you can give it to the other person's name. I'll just put my bro. And there you can see if you have multiple people on the call, maybe five, six people, then it will separate all of them into separate speakers and it's very smart and intelligent in doing that. So for me, having this capability with any type of call that you have, especially when it comes around using this for work and all of your meetings, that is going to save you so much time. And the call mode on this, I feel like, and I know people use the term quite often, is actually a game changer. So for me, I'm so happy with the device. Next, room mode. So I went to a conference recently. I took my HiDoc P1 with me. I placed it onto the table. I started the recording when the speaker on stage was speaking and it was quite a lengthy conference and the lecture was lasting about an hour, but I've just recorded a sample of what was said and I wanted to remember everything that was mentioned because it was useful information. And this is the example 
that was recorded. You can see here's the transcription. It's quite lengthy. Everything was summarized fairly quickly in less than two minutes. And you can see these are the meeting outlines. It's done it very well. Of course, I can resummarize and structure this however I like, but just the fact that it's made it into such an easy to read bullet pointed list of everything that was said because the transcription can be very long as you can see it's pages and pages of text this is a very convenient way for me to then just reference back to this at any time and just remember everything that happened so that's why room modes i think are really useful with this device no matter where you go whenever you're ready to record if someone is speaking you set it on the table you start the recording and it actually picked it up very well so that for room mode I think is absolutely great. So whisper mode is very simple. Once the Hideout P1 is on, you just hold down the button here like a voice memo recorder. You just speak into the microphone and then you transfer everything to the High Notes app. So here's an example. This is a reminder for myself to go to the supermarket tomorrow. On the list of things I need to buy, I need to get bread, milk, bananas, apples, maybe I'm going to buy a packet of crisps we have run out in the house. I also need to get a drink, and then I'm going to check the meat section because I'm going to be holding a barbecue in the garden. That's going to be next weekend, so I'll be having a party, so make sure I go and see any deals they have for the chicken, the beef, and the lamb, and see if I can grab some of them today, and I'll just put them into the freezer. That is the main things I need to buy from tomorrow's grocery shopping. So the light around the circular button goes orange or amber. That shows that it's recording. Now that the recording is inbuilt onto this, I'm now going to connect this back to my iMac. So I'm connected, I'll go to recordings. The top one is right there. Let's go ahead, transcribe and summarize. And actually this is a very fast transcription and summarization system. If you have an hour of recording, this can literally complete that within 60 to 90 seconds. Like that is super fast. So I'm very impressed of the speed of this as well and the quality of how this app works. So that's done. Now, if we go back, you can see here, the note is ready. There's my transcription and here's my summarization. It's really good. It's used ChatGPT by default here to summarize everything. I can make amendments. I can adjust the text if I want to. I can rename the speaker names. There's plenty of things I can do to just make adjustments to this to make it perfect. But out of the box, there's hardly any type of re-editing that you would need to do. So I think whisper mode is really great for having memos and setting yourself reminders like this. So next, I'm gonna give you an overview of the High Notes app, how that looks, how that works, and all of the things that you can do with it. So let's dive in. So my P1 is connected directly via the USB-C cable to my iMac. And this is the High Notes app. So on the bottom left, you can see the High Dot P1 is now connected. When you click on this, this is where you can go into configurations, but you'll also find all of your recordings, no matter which mode you've used, listed here. From here, this is where you can set it to transcribe and summarize by just hitting the button at the end of each of the recordings. If we go into configuration, you can set your settings, but you can also update your firmware from here. I highly recommend you always make sure your high dock is updated. And if you want to learn a little bit more, there's a guide tab as well. It allows you to learn how the high dock works and then you can also have a demo of the bnc which will work with your headphones connected now if we look here these are all of my previous recordings you'll have a full list of it you can change the view to list mode or grid view when you go into one of them this is a test recording i made earlier just talking about the p1 you can see on the right hand side it has summarized it quite well my recording is there then you can actually play back your recording with the voice player at the bottom here so I recorded this directly from my AirPods Pro and you can see I've just summarized it here. If we go into the menu for this, you can also translate, you can resummarize, and you can also download the audio and use it however you wish. If I go to resummarize, there's a couple of AI engines available right now. I am recording this before the production release and they are going to be adding more AI engines in there. They are currently working on DeepSeek, so you may see another additional option there. But you have the option with ChatGPT 4.1, which is the latest one right now. You have Claude AI. Then you have a whole bunch of templates. Of course, if you have the pro membership, you have access to all of these templates. So depending on what that recording was related to, you can select that and then it will adjust the summary accordingly. So I've just left that as a general meeting, but if I wanted to change that, 
I can change this to whoever I wish. But one thing I really would like to use the P1 for is when I do job interviews and I want to record it, then I can set this to interview mode. And I think that's just a really good use case for having this. And it's going to save a lot of time and effort from trying to remember everything that you mentioned and everything that was asked during that session. And of course, you have the option to add various different tabs as well and split your notes into various different categories. So it's a very lightweight, simple setup. Now, just a brief intro into the membership plans. On the free plan, you don't need to pay anything. You can have a lifetime of AI recording, transcription and summarization. There's no cost whatsoever. But if you do decide to upgrade and go to some of the premium plans like the pro membership, then you will also benefit from things like identifying the speakers, which you can also edit yourself. You can also have unlimited AI summary templates, and I'll showcase how that works with the High Notes app. You're able to export in various different file formats. You can translate your summaries in up to 57 languages. And then there's also a couple of integrations as well for things like Google Docs and Notion. So if you feel like you're going to use this very often for business or for work, I would highly recommend going for the pro membership because it unlocks the ultimate capabilities of the High Doc P1. And that's everything I wanted to showcase with the HiDoc P1. If you have any questions, as always, drop them down below. I know what a lot of you will be asking. If I start the recording with the P1, do people on the other end of the call get notified that you've started recording? No, they don't. But it's up to you to basically let people know that you are going to start recording them. This is really made for on the go portable recording. You use it as a voice memo recorder. It's pretty much like an audio recorder of this size that there's plenty of them on Amazon that you could buy that essentially will do the same thing. It doesn't notify people that you're recording them, especially in whisper mode or room mode, then people can see that you're just using something to record their calls, their classes, their speeches, their lectures, whatever it may be. So they won't be notified. I feel like this is going to be very beneficial for me, not just for having meetings for work, but also when I do job interviews, I like to remember everything that was asked of me. I like to remember what I've said, and that is very useful so that I can summarize it and use that in future to help me with future job interviews. Whatever the use case, this is a must have, I feel like for everyone that takes a lot of online meetings or just needs something that transcribes a lot of their voice memos, or they go out and they'd like to record people speaking at various different events, then this is going to be great for that. If you like this video and you like the look of the HiDoc P1 as much as I do, then make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the link in the description if you are interested in this. It's really affordable, they have some really great deals, and I'll catch you all next time.